something to say though. You know, sometimes, right, um, the women also have a very great part to play in this whole domestic. Wait, 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 let me land. Don't look at me like that. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Dolly. I am not alone today. I've got my very beautiful friend Nene right here. Um, we are going to be talking about one of those topics that are quite difficult and you know not one of the easiest topics, but we'll try our best to make it as light-hearted as possible, and that's going to be domestic violence. Um, just to mention that I was taking a look at my statistics recently and I noticed that mature women watch my videos like you know 25 to 40 or so i was like oh honestly not like my i would say my content is childish but i i just used to feel like my content was not the most mature so that was like a pleasant surprise to me um yeah going back to the topic today we'll be talking about domestic violence you know what I don't know just what you feel about it do you know anyone going through it and what would be your best advice to that person i just want to know like what do you think the the, the whole thing domestic violence and women we are not trying to um deny the fact that men go through domestic violence as well the the we'll just we, i just choose to focus on women for today on my channel so yeah what do you think about domestic violence well um to be honest, domestic violence is a really serious topic and uh, I feel like um, in this day and age, a lot of women go, still go through this and um, they, they close up. Yes. And um, I'll start with the advice. Mm -hmm. First thing you must do, you have to leave mm -hmm. before you kill yourself in the process because it, it starts like this. The first time it happens, you're like, um, did this really happen? Mm -hmm. The second time you're like, oh no, it must have been a mistake or you, you just want to give them a second chance. And then the third time you're actually ashamed. Mm -hmm. And that's a trend that we follow. And, and most of this um, domestic, um, most of the people inflict this abuse on people. They are very remorseful. Why do I say that? Because they'll do this act and then they'll come back and they'll be like, I'm sorry, I didn't mean it, you know, I love you, you know, that kind of thing. And and, and women, we get so emotional sometimes, we're like, oh no, yeah, he, he does love me, I, I love him, he's going to change. You cannot change anyone, like it has to be their decision to change. Yeah. And you are the only one that has control of your own change so you i mean you cannot just live this life like true pain and abuse constantly hoping that somebody is going that yeah. hoping that somebody is going to change you don't have control i on but uh, well i honestly don't understand how you would live in denial of physical abuse like let's be let's be frank look at my skin complexion look at me imagine they punch my eye how do i look at my swollen eye with blood that has clotted everywhere, and I'm in denial. How I'm in denial of what? Of the of of what I'm seeing in the mirror of my reality in the mirror or what? In God's name, am I living in denial for? I cannot understand that. No, that's just the truth. That's why I say maybe this whole uh, domestic violence thing, physical abuse thing, maybe it's related because some of us I cannot even hide it. Fine, I may do the whole long sleeve and um. Uh, just wear clothes that cover everything and sunglasses but at the end of the day what if my husband beats me up and that's the next morning i'm supposed to be in a in a conference like a really really important conference so how do i explain my swollen eye to my bosses yeah how do i start explaining that even if i can wear all the clothing and stuff that they don't get to see the bruises the blood clots and stuff like that no i anyways do you know anyone do you, do you happen to know anybody that has gone through domestic violence? Well, I, I've met a few people, you know, that have experienced that. And, um, well, this is probably the first time I might be saying this. I, I haven't ever told them, but I, earlier on when I was about 23, 24, I went through that situation for a very short time. And it was a very, very scary period for me because growing up, I never experienced anything. I mean, my my dad, the relationship my parents have, 
I mean, when it happened to me, I was like, so this is real because I had always like laughed in the faces of people. I'll be like, ah, massa, that thing is not like seriously. Why have you not gone? Why you know, like, how do you leave it? But then the truth is, like I said earlier, the first time it happens, you're so shocked that you cannot even like honestly open up to anybody. And then it happens the second time and you're like, no, before I can talk to someone, I'm sure this was a mistake, I'll give a chance. Then the third time, you're actually ashamed because you have, you, a whole you, have experienced this, I mean, like, you... Not you, once, not, not twice, twice, thrice. Right, exactly. Well, uh, sorry, I just really want to, wait, domestic, as honestly, yes, punchy, that your yes. face gets swollen and stuff yes, like that. Yes, yes, and it put me in a position where I, I myself became aggressive at the point where I could not take it. I became um, aggressive, and that was not a place where I wanted to be. It was really scary. My dad has never beaten me in my life. I've got the sweetest dad in the entire world. My mom has, this, you know, one person has got to be the discipline master in the whole. My mom has beaten me blue, black, in all the forms possible you can imagine. I don't imagine somebody, because I've decided, somebody, I've never known you in my life. You're not my brother. You're not my uncle you're or nothing. anything. Just because I've decided to date you or just mm -hmm. because we are married, you decide to start hitting me. I come from a place where I'm, I look at it this way. The person who, who actually birthed me, brought me on to, uh, into this world, raised me for 20 years plus, has never as much as hit me mm -hmm. once. What gives you that authority? Right. What gives you the audacity to hit me? Maybe that's where I come from. That's why I cannot understand it. Talking about knowing people who have gone through uh, domestic violence, this is uh, really, really touchy for me. Yes, I have lost, I have actually, I, I used to look at all these things. I used to think they could happen just to other people. Exactly. But yeah, it has happened to me. I've lost a relative from domestic violence. Like, that's how real it is. I read some statistics that said every, one in every three, uh, one woman in every three, has actually gone through domestic violence mm. in a lifetime. I'm like, mm. wow, yeah. like, wow, wow, wow. This is, this is unbelievable. This it is unimaginable. Because look, we women, we go through a lot. Our bodies are so complicated and stuff. When you punch me on my stomach, you don't know what you are doing mm. to me. There could be all sorts of things that are happening. Mm. When you punch me, when I on the ground, you're kicking, boxing, uh, some of them even jump on you, like, it's crazy. All of these things, I honestly, I'm sorry, I, I, I'm not even a phys, I'm speechless because I'm not a phys, I'm not a violent person. Where is the energy? You guys would look at me, where? Where would I borrow the energy to be violent or to fight back? So to the women who put up with physical violence, don't do it. No, I, I don't, I, I, the only truth, I don't understand it. If you understand it, please explain to me because I don't understand how they don't seek for help. Though the one honest thing I will tell you is we Africans, this is the honest truth. If you want to really be honest, we come from a place where we are raised or taught to cover up a lot, lot of, of things. things, to sit on a lot yeah, of things. That don't, of yeah, don't wash your dirty lineage in, in the public. public. I'm sorry. I'm really so. Sometimes my parents, if they don't know the 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 the, 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 the apple, they say the apple never falls from the tree. Sometimes they look at me and I'm like, girl, you are a lot. You're so so different. Yes, I am. No, no, no. I'm going to scream for help to the whoever can listen to me. I'm going to be screaming for. I I cannot take it. We are raised or taught to sit on a lot. Like no, there's family secrets. No, we have to treat it as a family. Some women go through domestic violence, they actually speak up. They go to the family, the family is like, we'll settle it as a family matter. What, the, what is the meaning of family matter? It means they will talk to the man and you go back to his house and pretend like exactly. nothing ever happened. Exactly. Second case, you talk, that, uh, talk to your pastor. Some... Talk to your pastor. I'm like, really? Really? And when I, when you sometimes, you get pastor's advice, you'll be like, no, just, just. There's no just, in my opinion, when it comes to domestic violence. There is no just. All of us have got one life to live. I don't know about you. I don't know. Honestly, I'm so happy that you walked away because in my, I see my my future is so bright. Like it, it's blinding when I look at it. And then to think that domestic violence will come and end my life because to me that's a premature death. No, that's not how God planned I was going to live this 
world. I really like at some point there was one time I like kind of like saw my whole life flash right before my eyes. And I was what? I was only like 23, 24 then. Can you imagine? No, I can like when I sit down sometimes and I'm like, young me, congratulations, because you know, it takes a lot of, of gods to even work because truly some of these women want to leave dolly trust me but it's also as you said it's also a thing of trust they don't know who to trust sometimes the very person you're trusting to save you from that situation is the same one who is keeping you locked up in that situation so but for me i think that um in 2018 women should not feel like they need to uh beg for permission you don't even to need save anybody that, that yes life, it's your you life i i honestly it oh my it is one life. What have I accomplished? Look at me sitting here. I'm expect how do I I need to stay alive to see my channel get to one million subscribers for crying out loud. If I die today in the name of I'm staying for because you hear all this I'm staying for my kids. So when I die, what actually what happens to those kids I'm staying for? Those kids are going to be all by themselves missing their mom. Yes. And some other woman will come and treat them like anybody's child. She will not treat them like Trust me, I will turn in my grave. I will I couldn't I couldn't no, nobody should sit on earth making prayers like rest in peace. I will not be resting in peace. I will be turning in my grave. Secondly, you hear people uh, make statements like um, people are going to laugh at me. After they, they've beaten you, killed you, and you've died, the whole world seeks to know your story. People are still going to laugh at you, and they're laughing at you in your death. I'd rather people laugh at me when I'm alive. Yes. To actually make something out of my life to prove mm -hmm. to them that this is me standing tall. Yeah. That was not the end of me. And I usually pose this question to people. I'm going to ask you to, to hear what you have to say. Okay. A cheating husband or a man that beats you up. It is not um, it's not the ideal thing to choose from. I'm just saying that uh, if it really came down to it and you really had to choose, I would like to know what you guys as a woman, what would you choose? A cheating man or a man that beats you up? And doesn't cheat so it's either he cheats on you or he beats you up no, no 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 i would have to say that and, and please don't judge me <laughs> do not judge me but the truth is i'll as bad as it sounds i'll rather go with that cheating man because you know what i can leave his cheating ass anytime any day but that man that's beating me what if that's the first time he beats me and the first blow he gives me is the one that sends me six feet under so you and your cheating ways just come we'll deal with it yes we'll okay. deal with it that, and that's your decision to stay with a cheating partner or not to stay with yeah, a cheating I, partner. And, and I know where I, I know the angle I'll go. You're, at least you're alive to be dealing with a exactly. cheating partner or not. Yes. And strange enough, most of the people who ask why I ask this question to the answer is they'd rather a man that beats them up. Oh my god. Yes. I, 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 I can't lie. I can't sit here and lie to you guys. Yes. I recently asked some, it's been like just maybe two days ago or one day ago. I asked this question and the answer was like, I prefer a man that beats me up. And in my mind, I'm like, but you know, this, 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 this oh is a mentality God. we kind of like have in Africa. Do you remember like when you were growing up back in the days, sometimes in Cameroon, uh, you hear girls say something like, if their boyfriend doesn't beat them, it means that, they, you know, they actually, you know, it, it, did you hear this type of things when you, you were growing up? Like when you were, can, we, can we not have that conversation? <laughs> Please, because I don't want to even portray to the whole world that African women have gone crazy or they are mad. Because to me, to me, there's something wrong with you. If you have the mentality, if your husband, if the, your, the man in your life doesn't beat you up, he doesn't love you. I don't know what planet you come from. I don't know if you value your life. I don't know if you'd rather be dead than alive. I don't know if you don't see a bright future for yourself. I don't know. I cannot answer those questions for your for 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 you. Okay. All what I all all what I know is this is how I even look, look at it from this point of view. Maybe this will help you. This will help every woman out there who are rather a beast to a cheating man. Look at it this way. You, you, a man, you, you don't want a cheat. When, when a man cheats on you, that's his act. That's his mistake. He's the one doing you wrong. But as a woman, you, you have rather he beats you up. That means you take ownership of his mistake. Yes. Than, than for him to cheat, yes. which is his mistake. God is going to punish him for it and everything. But no, you want to be God. You, you take you ownership of it. Yeah. Understand. You say no. That, that you are rather he beats you up than for him to. He is the one cheating, you're not the one cheating. How do you own up for his mistake by saying you're rather he beats you up? And I'm sorry to say, a lot of people like to, to always say this thing that no, a slap will never kill. We don't know. Sometimes I deal with anxiety. Yeah, sometimes I get anxious when things are honestly not moving right. I, 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 oh, I, yeah, I panic. Yes, my heart starts racing and stuff. Mm. 
What if I had one of those rough days or what if I, ju I just got fired and I could not have that conversation over the phone with my husband? I come home and you know, we pick up a fight, we are fighting and things get messed and I say something and he slaps me. That's just, everyone always says it's just a slap. A slap will never kill you. I'm sorry to say but I totally disagree with a slap will never kill you. What if that's when I'm anxious? When, what if that's when my heart is racing and maybe I'm gasping for air, I'm trying to, you know, mm -hmm. he doesn't see it and stuff mm -hmm. and he hits me and that's the end of me. Honestly. What do we what 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 do, what does it explain to the whole world? And we funny enough, Africans do the, the mystical story will come out. They'll say my ancestors. Yeah. My ancestors in Akuma have resurrected. Small London. Your village yeah. people are like, whoa. Yes. Meanwhile, the criminal is right in front of me. Village yeah. people do have suffered, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are laughing like this, but honestly, like sometimes. Anyways, I, I have something to say though. You know, sometimes, right? Um, the women also have a very great part to play in this whole domestic. Wait, 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 wait. Let me land. Don't look at me like that. Let me say something. You know how African society, eh? Mm -hmm. They like to put a lot of emphasis on the girl child. Mm -hmm. This, this, this. Sometimes they neglect the boy child, yes. and then you have these crazy men just roaming around mistreating women they learn it actually the truth is if you never grew up in an abusive home you really do not know the definition of being abused but do you know we africans we undermine a lot of things mm -hmm. from mental illness depression yeah. anxiety some african moms parents wouldn't even know what i'm talking about when i say i guys sometimes i get anxious they are like they are lost like you get anxious so so and sometimes you may even, I may have a son that has anger anger management problems. I don't I don't I don't realize that that's actually a problem. You know, the, the child needs somebody to needs to go through counseling. You know, therapy to manage. You know, to deal with that problem. Africans we don't know shit. Most I'm not saying everybody, but most we don't recognize a lot of things. We don't recognize mental illness. We don't recognize depression. We don't. We think that we were born from iron and fire. Like you just have to be very strong. Like. Man or woman, there's no difference. Man or woman, you have to be, you know, strong, strong, caterpillar, as you sit like this. You know, they'll say, boy, don't cry, boy, don't cry, boy, you know? <laughs> like, seriously, let these people express their emotions, because now they have pent up emotion. Yeah. And then, but, but honestly, like I was saying, if you did not grow up in that kind of environment, you really do not know anything yeah, about it. So most of these people, when you go down and check history, it's something that they have lived through it yeah. and they feel like this is what is right. So actually, that's oh, why... Or they feel like they can get away with it. Exactly. But that's why I say we the women, not the abused women, but the, the mothers of today, mm -hmm. we need to put emphasis on our, yes. our sons. Kings, as much. kings don't exactly. need men. Exactly. There's no man in his right mind who loves his wife. You cannot say, I love my wife, but I beat her to correct her. No, she's not a child. Ha! Imagine she's you see me, my wife, I have a soul. You have no. to tell this way, blood has clotted. No, no, no. Will no, you no. not be confused? Very confused. Ha. Very. I still don't understand it. I may have gone through something like that, but even till today, I will never understand it. And I don't want to understand it. My answer is, women, girls, whoever it is, if you find yourself in a situation like this, if you feel like you cannot talk to someone, leave and then find a counselor, find someone that you can really talk to. Your life comes first before marriage, before every or other that thing. thing. Your life comes first. And I, sometimes we women think that, oh no, we're indispensable. When that happens, we're the only woman in his life. It, you die, mommy. Right at your burial, he's going to like replace you. Ever Okay. No, that kind of man. I'm not talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Dolly Sosma is the sweetest, sweetest man on the planet. No, mm -hmm. wait, that was my sweetest man. Amen to that. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. This is everything we want. We just wanted to, you know, just touch um, base on this topic to, you know, just throw out some awareness out there. Like I said, I've lost somebody, uh, a loved one, due to domestic violence. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about it in a light-hearted manner. Thank yes. you for coming on to this channel. Yes. Thank you. I hope you come again. If you have watched and have not clicked that subscribe button, the best birthday present you guys can give me 
which is my birthday is coming up soon i'm a gemini where are all the gemini's my birthday is next month is to you know get my channel to grow i don't have a figure in mind i just want to see growth because when you subscribe that's your own way of letting me know that you love my content see, uh, don't forget to drop a comment as well let me just know what you guys think about this topic see you in the next video bye